remembering the life of Baltimore City firefighter and EMT Rodney William Pitts III. We're taking a live look right now from the Cathedral of Mary Our Queen, where his funeral will be held this morning. Thank you for streaming us here on CBS News Baltimore at 8. I'm Sina Gebra Ab. And I'm Amy Kawada. It truly is a somber boarding here at Cathedral Mary, our Queen, here as we continue our special coverage right here on CBS News Baltimore of the funeral service for Baltimore City firefighter EMT Rodney William Pitts III. You hear the chimes of the bells ringing right behind me here. Truly such an emotional morning here. We're already seeing dozens and dozens of firefighter personnel from across the state here. Fire trucks lining the road out here outside of the Cathedral of Mary, our Queen. It's just it's really hard for a lot of people to take in this morning. Now, Rodney Pitts, Will, Rodney Williams Pitts III, you may remember he died last week after battling that devastating two alarm fire in northwest Baltimore on Linden Heights Avenue. He was one of two Baltimore City firefighters who succumbed to his injuries there. Um, he was just 31 years old. We were told that he had one year of service with the Baltimore City Fire Department and just graduated from the fire academy in August over the summer. And this is really just what he loved to do. We're hearing from so many loved ones who are sharing their remarks about Pitts, about how he had touched so many in the community, and really the reason why he became a firefighter. He credited his mother. His mother said he, um, he wanted to be out there for people, to save other people's lives, and that's exactly what Rodney Pitts did, and he died doing what he loved. He died a hero. Um, again, we're seeing many fire trucks flooding in here through here, a sea of people just gathered outside here as, again, the funeral service for Rodney Pitts the third is set to begin this morning at 10 in just about two hours from now. Uh, we did have the chance to speak with the Baltimore City Firefighters Union President, Matthew Costner, and he said, he mentioned this he was a part of Engine 29, and this was actually his first fire with on Engine 29, um, and just said that was just such a devastating uh, turn of events that the whole department, his engine company, had to take in. Um, he also spoke about how his family is doing at this time, so take a quick listen. He's from an extremely large, loving family. Um, they're devastated. You know, they, uh, we, I've been with them all week, and... Um, it's it's just hard. It's very hard. And he just joined the academy in in over the summer. He was in the academy. He's been about a year. He just um, graduated from the academy over the summer, so he just came out in the field three months ago. And I mean, this just shows that first responders, firefighters. I mean, this he he died doing what he loved. He he went out there, put his life on the line to save others, and that's just kind of yeah. you guys just have to keep continuing to do that throughout throughout the year. I mean, it's just a reality of our job. You know, he just came out of the academy and, uh, you know, it was his first fire. And, you know, that's the way uh, you can do everything right in this job and still get killed or injured doing, doing what you love to do. just heartbreaking out here. It's really just such a somber morning and day. And uh, we do have to mention that all these firefighters who are out here, they do still have to remember in the back of their mind they're going to be out again in the coming days to remember and lay uh, another fallen hero to rest, Lieutenant Dylan Ronaldo. And it's just really hard to take in for a lot of these fire uh, firefighters throughout our state. Uh, it's never easy to cover such a tragedy like this one. Um, and I I do understand that on his obituary, Pitts leaves behind two children um, who we understand the family will be here um, inside. It will be uh, open to the public, uh, but media, we are asked to stand outside of the cathedral during the funeral services, of course, to respect the family and the community there. Um, we do understand that following the funeral service here at Cathedral Mary, our queen uh, procession will then take place to head over to Delaney Valley Memorial Gardens in Timonium. Of course, we will continue to bring you live coverage throughout the day for you guys as we continue to remember our fallen hero, Rodney William Pitts III. For now, reporting live, I'll send it back to you, Cena in studio.